Kumani na chine ke nanke promi ni ni ne. Onyo kona ni ana zopota. Onyo kona ni ya bo puya ni ne buye na amen. Ani we na asese ku pete nkosi. Na no tuto ne jamma na nsopuru. Site ne dige bi maru ne dige. Ise 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 Welcome, my wonderful people. Welcome, fellow Bia friends, wherever you are joining me from. I say, may Chukwukuka be my guide and protect you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Chukube, Jeremiah, Joy, Izukama. Thank you so much for joining. Wherever you are joining me from, I thank you very much. I appreciate you. And I say, may Chukwukuka be my guide and protect you. Please share the video to your platform. Share the video wherever you belong, any place you are, share the video, keep sharing so that people can join us and also like the video, give your expressions. As usual, we have prayed and done what we are supposed to do. And you know that we are in a critical situation. I'm not, uh, I didn't come online yesterday for some certain reason. You know, yesterday was another busy day, very busy day yesterday. I, I couldn't be able to come online. But I feel I should come on today so that we can talk a little bit about the court case of our Namaz and Nande Khan. You know, we've been waiting for the case. We've been waiting for a very long time since November. We've been waiting to this January. And finally, here we are on January 18th and 19th today. And tomorrow again, we still have a court tomorrow. And when we are talking about the court of Mazin Nandekano, we are talking about Biafran people going to court. Biafran people are going to court. It's not just Mazin Nandekano going to court. We are all going to court. The federal government of Nigeria is taking every Biafran person to court. They are taking everybody in the old southeastern region to court. If you're in the old southeastern region, either south, south, southeast, the lower Benue, we are all taken to court. And our court started yesterday. We saw how it played out yesterday. The court yesterday, they started doing the same thing they have always done, preventing the media to go close, preventing people to get into the court, putting all manner of hindrances and all manner of uh, disruptions. That was what we saw yesterday. And even before the court case, you saw what they did. They decided to amend the charges and begin to add some other things to the charges, some things that doesn't hold water, just to make sure that they delay the case. We know they have no case against our Shona Mazin Nandekano. They have no case against him. All they have is this, their distraction. They try as much as they can to continue to distract the issues, continue to distract the issues. They continue to distract every issue and thing that are happening. So, but they will never distract us. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They can never distract us. They will never ever distract us. And thank God for yesterday, as they try to manipulate themselves, take their way, our legal team, we are up to the task. They faced them squarely and made sure that Mazin Nanekano never took a plea yesterday, that uh, the, 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 the charges has to be discussed, first of all, by the legal team and our school of Mazin Nanekano on behalf of the Biafrans. The charges have to be discussed first before you can maybe talk of taking a plea. And that was the issue yesterday, and it was sorted out, and uh, lawyers were given time to have a discussion with Mazen Nandekano, then before the charges will be read out for him to either take a plea or not. So that was what transpired yesterday. And uh, we saw how the whole thing went and uh, how some word that was said by our new legal team when we are talking about the new Euro country that was added to the legal force. We're talking about a new person that was added. Many people didn't know who it was. We we're all expecting to see who it was. It was. But yesterday, it was unveiled that the new person who have joined the legal team is uh, Mike Ozokome, Sam, senior advocate of Nigeria, Mike Ozokome. He's a very good, uh, very good uh, lawyer. He has been doing great, very popular, well-known and very outspoken, very outspoken. And he has now taken charge as the lead counsel in the case of Asuna Mazen and the Kano. So yesterday, nothing was done. It was just a postponement and the discussion of the case with Mazen and the Kano so that uh, Mazen and the Kano can be able to stand for us and plead either guilty or not guilty when the plea is going to be made, which was made today. But even on that yesterday, 
uh, uh, you most of us must have seen the 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 press interview of uh, our lawyer uh, Ifanyo Jofo. Ifanyo Jofo gave a press interview, and most of you who must have listened to press interview, I tried to get it. I'm sorry, I couldn't be able to get it down. I would have tried to play it so you can be able to get some informations from what uh, Aloye Jafo uh, said. In his press interview, he made, he disclosed some informations, very, very important informations. Yes, Aloye Jafo, uh, Aloye Jafo, uh, Ifanye Jafo, not Aloye, Ifanye Jafo brought us some critical informations from his press interview. If you have not gone through that in press interview properly, go back and listen to that press interview. I would have played it now, but I wouldn't be able to play because it's not at my reach now. In that present interview, he made a critical statement and made some information that are very vital. Number one, Allah GFO made it known to us that where our cinema is in the kind of is, is bugged. When he says the place where I'm in the kind of is, is bugged, it means that the place is highly secured with cameras, computers, and so many other things there. That is what it means. We are as normal as in the kind of is. There's no way you can do anything there without the next person hearing. It is bought. They are watching and seeing every single statement and anything that has been done in that area. And each time they go to see Mazen Nandekano, that is how it is. The place they stay with Mazen Nandekano is bought. That is what our lawyer said. And that information is very, very important. It's very important. Think about it and think about it again. It is very, very important. He went further to say that that he doesn't discuss any critical issue with Mazin Nandekano. He made it clear that he doesn't discuss any critical issue with Mazin Nandekano. Reason being that the place the Mazin Nandekano is where they are discussing with him, it is bought. They cannot discuss any private issue. They cannot discuss any. They can't discuss anything that had to do with Biafra. You should know that. They won't even discuss anything that had to do with IPOB, because at the first place, that is why Mazin Nandekano is in detention. Mazin Nandekano is in detention because of the Biafra struggle. He's in detention because of the IPOB. He's in detention because he's fighting for you and I. So nothing that has to do with IPOB, that has to do with Biafra struggle, will be discussed where Mazin Nandekano is being held. Because the place is bugged. This is the information that the lawyer of Mazin Nandekano gave out yesterday, present time. Go and watch it again. Maybe tomorrow I'll try to get it and play it so that you listen to it carefully. So that was a critical information that we got yesterday. You know, in every day that Mazin Nandi comes to court, Mazin Nandi Kano comes to court, I always pray that we get informations. We know more about things we want to know because we have been asking a lot of questions. How is the situation of Mazin Nandi Kano? Where is he? How is he feeling? How is he living? How is he passing information? Is he getting the right information? These are questions that every single Biafran is asking on a daily basis. And anytime Mazin Nandi Kano comes to court, there is every chance that we will get an answer to that question if you pay attention. That is why most of us paid attention to that very interview yesterday. When you pay attention to that interview, go back and pay attention again. You will hear those information. They are very critical. And when you hear him say that they don't have privacy to discuss private issues with Mazen Nandekan, you'll be wondering, why is it that some people come out and tell us and say that Mazen Nandekan said this and said that? Things that you know that Mazen Nandekan cannot say in that environment that the, the barrister described. Those things cannot be discussed where the place they kept Mazen Nandekano, they cannot be discussed such private issues. It cannot be discussed. And yet, you see people tell us that such was discussed. That is why I say, anytime Mazen Nandekano comes to court, there is always a new information for you to digest. And on that yesterday, a lot of things happened. We saw the new lawyer and the role he played. I want to play one of the video of the lawyer and what he had to say after the whole trial that was yesterday. I believe that with today's proceedings, there will be a change of heart on the part of the DSS because the law is that a person should stand trial. The reason they say stand trial is that you should be healthy enough to stand when you are being tried. He didn't say sit trial or lie down trial or prostrate trial or be in the coma trial. Only the Absolutely, we are going to file preliminary objection sure. so to this 
uh, to these camps. Many of them are, are just poor. Sorry, let me get a video. I think this is the video I want to play first. Let's listen to what that's this is this has to do with yesterday trial. The video I'm playing now has to do with yesterday trial. This was the information that the new legal leader gave after the trial. Absolutely, we are going to file preliminary objection sure. so to this uh, to this camps. Many of them are, are just poor, poor, poor. The DSS are part and parcel of the democratic organogram we have. I don't think they are alien. By the time the judge calmly, dispassionately examined the step by step destruction of these camps, then absolutely, absolutely, we are going to file preliminary objection to this. Uh, to these camps. Many of them are, are just poor, poor, poor. The DSS are part and parcel of the democratic organogram we have. I don't think they are aliens uh, from another planet living on Mother Earth here. For the opting time today, the court emphasized to the DSS what they should do. In any civilized society, when you are trying an accused person, Give him facilities to defend himself. How do you keep a person in solitary confinement, sleeping on a flat six um, um, six um, uh, inches bed? I mean, if a small this small student's mattress with no pillow, and and expect the person to live a good, healthy life, and he's complaining that he's being starved. We put all this in the affidavit solitary confinement you are not allowed to greet any person to exercise and when other inmates greet you they are immediately taken to solitary confinement or to more serious security areas because they greeted you you are not are allowed to practice your jewish religion you're sure that you were all of them are seized I mean, the judge had to make another order today. He has been appearing in court all along with the same dress. He, he, the, the dress is not a uniform. It's because he has not been allowed to have another dress. So when you talk about a free and fair trial, all these are what section 36 of the Constitution uh, is about when it says a person should be given a free, a free, a free, free hearing. Free hearing incorporates all this. Free hearing incorporates fair trial. So if, for example, everything is weighted against an accused person and in favor of the prosecutor, then where's the justice? That was the question I was asking the court. You, the, the prosecutor investigated. They are the accusers. They are the prosecutors. They are again also keeping custody of the, of the person. Then the person is worn out gradually, psychologically, mentally depleted, psych psychically traumatized, physically humiliated, and debilitated. In, in such a case, you cannot say the person is undergoing a fair trial. So these were the points I was emphasizing to the court today, that even though you had made orders again and again and again, these orders are being flouted brazenly with impunity so this 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 is where we are i believe that with today's proceedings there will be a change of heart on the part of the dss because the law is that a person should stand trial the reason they say stand trial is that you should be healthy enough to stand when you are being tried he didn't say sit trial You have heard him, you have heard him. Uh, I just got to cut it off from there. You see, the most important thing you have to take home from that very interview was that Mazin Nandekano is still facing torture in DSS. As the case of Mazin Nandekano proceeds, he is still facing torture in the DSS. There is still torture. He's still going through torture. This is why every Biafran have to wake up. Whatever we are doing, we have to continue doing what we are doing and intensify it. Because these people do not understand the language you, some of us are speaking. 
that language of petting, language of begging. They don't understand it. This was an interview that he granted yesterday. And are you not surprised that even today, again, Mazen Nandekano is still appearing on that same dress? They have refused him from changing his dress. He is still sleeping on the ground without pillow. They refuse him to use the things he's using for prayer. Refuse him every of his right in DSS. These things have been happening and that they are still happening as you're watching this video. You see why every Biafran has to wake up. All is not well. The people we are dealing with are monsters. They are monsters. They do not understand the language of begging. They do not understand that language of calmness. You have to intensify anything you are doing to make sure that Mazen Nandekano is being released. And whatever we do is going to help the lawyers. It's going to make the lawyers have more effect on what they are doing. You have heard it. After hearing from the new legal counsel, it is clear that every of the torture they are giving to Mazen Nandekano still continues. They are still doing the same thing. Even as you're watching this video, they are still doing the same thing. It's not a child's play. Mazen Nandekano is a strong man, very strong man. It doesn't matter when you see him, he appears joyous, he appears very strong and very, very loving. But at the same time, he is facing a lot of issues. A lot of things are going on that the beer friends are not seeing. A lot of things are going on that beer friends have ignored. And we must not ignore it. We must have to stand up and fight along with Mazen Nandekan with all our strength to make sure that he is released unconditionally. Anything you are doing, intensify in what you are doing. I have said it time and time again. If you are praying, pray more. If you're fasting, fast more. If you're fighting, fight more. If you're sitting at home, sit at home more. Whatever you are doing to see that Mazen Nandekan is being released, intensify in it. Because the people we are dealing with are monsters. They do not understand the common language. They don't understand the real language. They don't understand it. And I want to show you how Mazen Nandekan was in the court, why he came to court. Just to refresh your memory, we believe that Chukwu Kukabiyama is standing with Mazen Nandekan and he's doing a lot in his life. Chukwu Kukabiyama is strengthening him, guiding him and protecting him against all things, against all the attack, against all the torture. He is standing tall. That is why we must have to do everything we need to do before he breaks down. And I pray that Chukwu Kukabiyama will never allow him to break down. Let us watch some event that happened during that conception. That was Mazen Nandekano, the man with the heart of gold. You can see very emotional things that happened there when he gave a kiss to the little child. That is the man with the heart of gold. Even in his situation, even in all the torture, in all the suffering, he manages to put on smile. He manages to make people who are around him to be happy. That is the power of love. That is how love in Mazen Nandekano is. Even in this Difficult situation that you find he find himself. Even in the whole attack that he's been getting from all angles, 
he managed to make people around him to smile. Putting smile in the face of people who are around him. This is a man you must fight for. This is a man the Pierre France must do everything possible to see that he will be released unconditionally because he holds the key. Biafra is the key. Biafra is the key and nothing else. It's only in Biafra that our hope lies. Only Biafra that can give us smile. It's only Biafra that can put smile on our face and give us joy. It doesn't matter how you pretend. It doesn't matter how you deny it. There can never be any joy in that country from call Nigeria. There will never be any love. They will never love you. As long as you're from Biafra land, they will never ever love you. It is we that will put a smile on our face. Only Biafra will make us smile. That is why, even in the difficult situation, you see Mazen Nandekano looking strong and putting a smile on people's face. A man who is going through hell in the hand of the DSS, going through hell in the hand of the Janjaweed, yet he manages to put a smile on the face of people who are around him. We must do everything that we have to do to make sure that Mazen Nandekano is being released unconditionally. Let's watch another clip. This is the clip of today. This is the clip of today. What transpired in the court today? Please. That is the situation. Mazin Nandekano is standing tall, fighting for you and I. What are you doing for him? That is the question. Are you going to sit back and relax and watch Mazin Nandekano continue to suffer irritation? We will not allow that. We will not allow. It doesn't matter what they say or what they do. We will continue to fight until the last man standing. And it is obvious that we are winning. For those of you who don't know that we are winning, Biafra is winning. Biafra is already winning. Remember today, there was a case of Mazen Nandekano that was called up also in Idea State High Court. The case that Biafran people have in Idea State High Court, we defeated the Nigerian government. The result came out today. And the result of the case, Mazen Nandekano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, won the case. Biafrans won Nigeria today in their case. And they were awarded one billion. But one billion is not our problem. We are not looking for one billion. We are looking for a total freedom from these killers. And what does that tell you? When you see that Mazen Nandekana have won his case in Abia State about the invasion of his house, about the invasion, every time you hear about them talking about Mazen Nandekana jump bail, Mazen Nandekana jump bail, now it has become very clear that Mazen Nandekana have never jumped bail anywhere. It is now clear, very, very clear, that Mazen Nandekano have never jumped bail. And this is one of the charges they are bringing against Mazen Nandekano in High Court in Abuja. This is one of the charges they are bringing against Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano already has won the case in Abia State. And he was awarded one billion. The judge has made it clear that the Nigerian government have no right whatsoever to go to his house and invade the house. Destroy the house and kill people. And he has made it clear that Mazen Nandekano never jumped bail. It was the Nigerian government that forced him to leave Afaruku. It was the Nigerian government. And the judge in Abia State have made it very clear. Mazen Nandekano have defeated the Nigerian government in that case. And what does that tell you? That tells you that the case they have against Mazen Nandekano in Abuja is dead. There is no way they can put it. It doesn't matter how they push it. It doesn't matter how they push it. The origin of everything they are presenting at, at Abuja the origin of everything, every paper, every allegation you see against Mazen Nandekano, the origin is based on what happened in Afaruku. That is the source. The source of every charges against Mazen Nandekano in the High Court 
is from Afaruku. And today, Mazen Nanegara have been vindicated on the case in Afaruku. He beat, beat the Nigerian government hands down. The judge, judge in favor of Mazen Nandekano that the federal government should pay Mazen Nandekano one billion and make a public apology to Mazen Nandekano and also grant him his freedom. They should make a public apology, grant him his freedom. And if they want more, they should go for political solution and discuss with him. That is where the political solution is coming in. It is not this issue of go and beg. You, Mazen Nandekano have said it, and we have said it, that you don't have to beg the judge. They are the one to beg you. They are the one to beg Biafrans. Biafrans don't have to beg, because they are the one that offended the Biafrans. They are the one who are killing the Biafrans, who are marginalizing the Biafrans, who are destroying Biafran land up to now as you are watching this video. They are still killing Biafrans, destroying Biafrans. Holding a lot of Biafrans captive. Thank God today, finally, 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 Mazen Nandekana have won his case in Afaruku. He has won his case in High Court in Abia State. Finally, they have gathered that ball to make him win the case in, 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 in Abia State. The judge made it clear that Mazen Nandekano is innocent and he has never jumped bail anywhere. The judge made it very clear that Mazen Nandekano did not jump bail. It was the federal government of Nigeria through their military that went to kill Mazen Nandekano. Why did they go to his home and in process killed people? Killed people. It is now confirmed that people were killed in the home of Mazen Nandekam. Innocent civilians, innocent Biafrans who were unarmed, unarmed Biafrans. They were mowed down. In the process, the parents of Mazen Nandekam also lost their life because of the trauma. In the process, Mazen Nandekam himself ran for his life. It was that that generated to every other thing you are seeing, every charges you see they are presenting today, based on that very thing, is dead. Every other charges is dead. And today, when the case was called up today in a, in, in a, in a high court in Abuja, the case was discussed. The very first time the charges were read, the case had not been discussed, mind you. It doesn't mean they called the charges. It was only today. That the charges were mentioned were read to Mazin Nandikan, and Mazin Nandikan pleaded not guilty. Of course, he is not guilty to all their frivolous charges they brought. Mazin Nandikan pleaded not, not guilty. And he is not guilty based on the judge, uh, based on the judgment that have been passed already. Based on the judgment that have been passed already in Abia State today, you will begin to see the lights at the end of the tunnel that Mazin Nandikan is very innocent of all the charges they are presented before him. That is why they keep on postponing, running from pillar to pole. They know they have nothing against him. He's only saying the truth. Asking for self-determination, which is the right of every individual. International law supports that. African Chitral law supports that. Nigerian law itself supports self-determination. So why are you holding him? Why? Today, after they have read all the counter to Mazin Nanikan, Mazin Nanikan pleaded not guilty on behalf of Biafra. We are not guilty and we'll never be guilty. And then what did they do? They had no choice. They had no choice. The case still had to be had and be discussed. Then our own lawyers presented their own, their, their own issue. The judge had no, no, no other thing to say than to postpone the case until 16th of next month. The case had been adjoined to 16th of next month for hearing because our own lawyers gave their own defense. Why those judgment they gave why those things they are saying why those uh, those useless things they wrote as as charges against Mazen and Kano doesn't hold water and i would like to play for you a brief interview that was granted by our lawyer today the lead counsel son michael zuckerman i'm going to give you the brief interview here was granted i'm not going to play the whole of the interview the important aspect of that interview listen carefully carefully listen carefully and closely and hear what he has to say on that very interview. Let's watch. By the time the judge calmly, dispassionately examined the step by step destruction of these camps, then, like I submitted in court, she will go to the next stage, which is to grant us our prayer too. And our prayer too 
is that there be no valid legal counts in the church to defend. She should dismiss all of them and set free. That is discharge and acquit Mazi in the canon of any offenses. What the prosecution tried to do was to insist that because today was set down for hearing, that the trial must go on, notwithstanding the pendency of this, this application, which we have tried, and not also withstanding the pendency of a second application, a 26-page motion for bail. And I pointed out to the court that that was not the law. That is not the law that the Supreme Court has held in several cases, serially, that once motions are pending before a court of law, even if the motions be frivolous or stupid, the Supreme Court actually used the word stupid or frivolous or meritorious, that the court is duty bound to look at that application, take argument, Sorry. and then decide it one way or the other before the matter can proceed. And of course, our application is fundamental, it's intrinsic to this trial. And the judge agree with us, telling the prosecution, there's no way you can tell, tell me to start trial. What if we start trial? And then the appellate court finally questions whatever we do here. So she, she was right. That is a legal position. And because of that, she has determined that she will take first this application to quash the entire counts, the 15 count. And then if there's still any case to try at all, that is where we will now get to the well, cross the bridge and targeting them. So what the 16th of February has been set down for at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. 16th February, February 16, 2022. It's just for this application alone to quash the counts in the 15 count charge and discharge and acquit Namdi Kano. Because in law, you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to, and expect it to stay, it will collapse. I cannot imagine a house that has no foundation if it collapse. So by the time the court hears us and takes a look at this application, she will discover that there's actually no case before her for to waste the precious time of this honorable court. Because the court is a busy court. There are many cases on the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that she can face other more important cases. Mm -hmm. This case is dead on arrival. As dead as Dodo. Dodo was a bird that existed in the southern part of Africa. Like the dinosaur, it is now extinct. It can never come back. So when something is as dead as Dodo, like this case, it means that the case is dead on arrival and is buried and cannot, like an apparition, rise up from the grave. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Hi, sir. What's it again? You have heard from uh, our lead counsel, Michael Zuckerman. He has spoken. The court have been adjoined until 16th of February. On that 16th, it will be the hearing of application of our lawyers. Remember, don't forget, before somebody will begin to tell you something different, you heard him and heard him clear. It will be for the hearing of the application of our lead counsel to make sure that all the charges are thrown to the dustbin. Amazon Nandi Kano will be granted bail. On the 16th, on that very day, it will be a day of hearing of application of our lawyers. Because from every indication, every charges they are presenting against Amazon Nandi Kano doesn't hold water. 
All the charges are dead on arrival, just as he has explained. They are all empty. And the judgment that was passed in Abia State today has, has also vindicated Mazin Nandikano. The judgment passed in Abia State today by the judge in Abia State have vindicated Mazin Nandikano further to show that every charges against him are all false and they cannot hold water. Just as the, the, the judge, the, the lawyer said, you cannot build something on nothing. You cannot build on a faulty foundation. The case that Martin Nankan is standing for now in Abuja is built on a faulty foundation. And that faulty foundation is what transpired in his father's home, home in Afaru Beuku. Everything that happened in Afaru Beuku is the foundation of what is happening today. It doesn't matter any charge they bring upon Mazen Nandikano. They can charge him for, for one million count charges. Every of those charges are built on top of what transpired in Afari Beko. For that, none of them can stand. None of those charges can stand, not even one. We know that Nigeria is the country of injustice, but in this case, they have no choice. And we have good legal team who can fight it to the last. Who can fight it to the last? Shuku Okikabia might have a way to vindicate his own people. Mazen Nani can have been innocent from the day one. I say it and I say it again. There has never been any law court in the planet Earth that convict Mazen Nani can. And they cannot. If you see what transpired today, you can see clearly when we say that Mazen Nani can had no case. Some of people who, some, some of people, some idiots, some of those who still believe in that they want Nigeria, who are still protecting their evil, some criminal who are still protecting their evil. They will be telling you that Mazen Nankar will be charged. Will be, there is no even case to talk about. That is why you see them dancing around with postponement, that postponement, that adjournment, that adjournment, that adjournment. Adjournment, that adjournment, that adjournment. Bunch of lies. How can you be building a 40 foundation? You cannot be building on nothing. Before you build, there must be a foundation for you to build something on top. When there is no foundation, you can't even put a building. And when it comes to the case of Mazin Nandekano, the foundation of the case of Mazin Nandekano is in Afari Beko, and that foundation has been destroyed today. It was destroyed, and Mazin Nandekano defeated the federal government of Nigeria. He was awarded one billion, and again, public apology by the federal government. And they must have to give that public apology. They must. We don't care about the money. The money is not what matters. We don't care about the one billion. Biafras can raise one billion for themselves. What we are looking for is justice for Biafran people. There are still so many Biafrans who are in captivity, many Biafrans who are losing their life. The subjugation and intimidation and killing in Biafran land, the slavery we are into, that is what we don't want. We want our freedom. Our freedom is what we are looking for. Our freedom is what we want. That is why I always tell you that the freedom of Mazen Nandikano is the freedom of every single Biafran people. When Mazen Nandikano is free, we will have our independence and everybody will be free. That is why we have to continue to do anything we are doing to make sure that Mazen Nandikano is Do not relent in your effort. Don't think that the battle is over. The battle is not yet over. The battle is not yet The battle will intensify. Remember tomorrow there is another hearing. There is another hearing of application tomorrow. There is another hearing of application tomorrow on the course of the case of Mazen Nandikano. Another hearing of application. He might not be in the court tomorrow. It's not necessary that he be in the court because that, that was tomorrow is a head of application. Tomorrow, there's another case. Mazen Nandekano is standing tall, standing in for you and I. Biafra is standing in the court. That is why you have to wake up wherever you are. It doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter what you think. Continue to fight on your own side to make sure that Mazen Nandekano is being released. If you're praying, pray more. If you're fasting, fast more. If you're fighting, fight more. If you're sitting at home, sit at home more. Whatever you are doing, intensify it. That is what is going to help our lawyers. And at the end of the day, you will see the political solution that we are talking about. They are the one that is going to call for it. You see, I am going to play the video. I will get the video of, uh, of what transpired in United State and play. It's not going to be today. By tomorrow program, I will get that video and play so that you can hear exactly what the lawyer said. You can hear exactly what the judge said. The judge is advising federal government to go and dialogue with Mazen Nandekano. The judge is advising federal government to go and dialogue with Mazen Nandekano, not to go and kill him, not to go to his and not to imprison him, and not to continue to detain him. 
the more they continue to detain him, they are committing more crime and violating his right. They are committing more crime. That they should dialogue with Mazen than they can. And what does that mean? Political solution. They are the ones who are going to activate that political solution to discuss with Mazen and Nikan on the way forward, which is referendum. There is no other way forward apart from referendum. Mazen and Nikan have made this clear. The only solution is referendum for Biafran people so that Biafrans can decide their fate. If Biafrans at the end of the day decide to remain in Nigeria, so be it. But if we decide to go, we go our separate ways. Nobody can stop it. No man born of a woman can stop us. The struggle for Biafra will continue and we must have our freedom. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. We will continue until Biafra comes. We will continue until Biafra comes. And the only way we can be able to make sure that we force these people to do what they are supposed to do is by intensifying on the civil disobedient. Civil disobedient have to be intensified. Sit at home on Sunday and on Monday. We must intensify this. We must have to activate it and intensify more in it. Increase our civil disobedience. If you don't increase it, it is going to be very difficult. It will be more difficult than you can imagine. Much more difficult than you can imagine. That is why we are calling for a seat at home on Sunday. Sit at home on Monday. And again, prepare yourself for the economic sanction against the danger with the Biafra land. Economic sanction. Don't give your revenue to local government, federal government, or state government. Keep it to yourself because it's going to be useful. Do not sponsor your own killers. Each time you are giving your revenue to them, you are sponsoring your killers. When they kill you, you begin to cry and you shout around. Meanwhile, you are the one giving them the leverage to kill you. We have to continue. We will fight until Biafra comes. Every Biafran has a thing to do. Share this video to all platforms. Share it to your family and friends and your 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 whatsapp group anywhere you belong this is also a fight that you are doing that's another way for you to fight it is not compulsory that every one of us will come online to begin to speak some of us cannot be come online to speak because they are shy some of us will not come online to speak because of their time when you see people who are speaking genuinely about the struggle share their videos share it let the world know what we are going through and what is transpiring in the contraption call nigeria we must continue until biafra come it doesn't matter what they do they will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra will definitely come. And the light is already shining. Victory has started. Victory has started from today. Victory has started. And that is how it will continue. When we say Mazen Nandekan, Biafra has no case to answer. It is not a joke. It's not a propaganda. It's not just a mere hearsay. Today, it has been confirmed by a court in Ajay State that Mazen Nandekan is innocent. And he must be released unconditionally. So let us wait until the 16th of next month. We will continue to do whatever we are doing. Intensify it. Intensify in whatever we are doing to make sure that before then, they will be the ones begging for this political solution. It is not Biafra. It is not Biafra. Remember the ESPO, that they are going to check the reaction of the people. Now, after today, that if they have been, they will be checking our reaction. They are going to check what are you going to relax? Are you going to run away? Are you going to stay away from Mazen Are you going to stop talking about the issue of Mazen Are you going to stop promoting the issue? They will check all this. After checking all this, then they will now come to the table and decide on what to do. This is why we have to continue to fight and struggle. It doesn't matter what anybody say. It doesn't matter what anybody does. We have to continue until Biafra comes. Until Biafra comes. The fight has not ended. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Don't relax. Just like every other promises have been. I'm telling you that even as Mazen Nandi can have won his case, even as Mazen Nandi can we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, continue to do whatever you are doing until at the final stage. Because you can never trust the ginger weed. You don't trust them. These are people who do not understand begging. They don't understand anything that has to do with democracy. They don't understand it. You saw our lawyer when he was explaining about the condition of Mazen Nandikan. That one has to be ringing in your head at all times. It has to be ringing in your head at all times. The Supreme Leader of IPOB, Mazen Nandikan, who is standing in for you and I, up to today, as you're watching this video, he is still going through torture. Even as at yesterday, after the new legal council have cried and shouted about his condition, today again, you still see him appear in that same clothes. He is he see appear in that same clothes 
that same clothes was not changed. What does that tell you? That the torture is still going on. The torture of our Sulamazin Nanikano is still going on, and we will not take it. We will not take it. Thank you so much, my sister Linda Chukwezi Linda. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. So that is what, what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what anybody does. It doesn't matter what anybody says. We will continue to fight until the last minute. Don't give up. Don't step aside. Don't leave what you are doing simply because you are given a promise. As we are seeing the light, we have to pursue it until at the end of the day when we will celebrate in victory. Victory is sure. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. We will continue until Biafra comes. That is the fight. Thank you so much for joining me wherever you are joining from. If you are joining from Biafra land, whatever part of Biafra land you are joining from, I say, may Chukwu Kukai be my guide and protect you. I say, may Chukwu Kukai be my guide and protect everybody who have joined me on this broadcast, who have shared this video, please continue to share. If you have shared this video, Chukwu Kukai will guide and protect you. You will never lose your life. You will see the end of 2022. 2022 never see your end. May Chukwu Kukai be my guide and protect all your Dudua people, protect all the Middle Bertans, Protect all the people who are genuinely fighting for freedom. Protect all the genuine broadcasters. May Chukwu Kabe and Garan protect you. May Chukwu Kabe and Garan protect our Suna Mazin Nanikano. Secure our Suna Mazin Nanikano. No weapon formed of fashion against Mazin Nanikano shall prosper. We will continue until Biafra come. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. We will walk and continue to fight until the last minute when we will walk for victory in Biafra land. Everyone that is watching this video, every hand I have shared, we will all walk into Biafra alive with our food. If you are from Odudua land and you're watching this video, you will see Odudua with your two eyes and you walk into Odudua with your two legs and you will celebrate in Odudua. If you're a Biafra and you're watching this video, you will celebrate in Biafra and you walk into Biafra alive. You will never lose your life. If you're from the middle birth, you will celebrate your freedom and you walk into freedom alive. If you are a genuine freedom fighter, that freedom we are looking for, you must surely get it. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. We will continue to fight until the last man standing. Biafra is here. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you so much for watching. I remember this. Bye-bye. See you again. Mm -hmm.